Good afternoon. I'm Nicholas LeCurcy, and I'm a certified orthotist. I'm also the Vice President of Services and Chief Technology Officer at Becker Orthopedic. For nearly a century, Becker has been a leader in the orthotics profession, offering one of the broadest lines of orthotic components in the world. Throughout its history, Becker has developed hundreds of new products and made its mark on the field with industry standards like the double action ankle joint. In 2016, Becker introduced Triple Action, a premium multifunction ankle component. Triple Action raised the bar for performance and set the foundation for development of the next generation of advanced orthotic products and clinical methods. Last year, Becker introduced the systematic tuning procedure for Triple Action, a simple evidence-based tuning method that for the first time offered a step-by-step -step approach to optimizing a hinged AFO in the clinical setting. Today, I'd like to tell you about Becker's latest innovation. We call it Becker Geo, and it's the next step on Becker's path toward changing the way orthotics is practiced. To help me tell this story, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Jan. When we first met her, Jan arrived at our office with her service dog. Jan loved taking ruffles on walks and tending her garden. But through the years, Jan's activity had declined. She could only take short walks and was falling more frequently. Jan had worn AFOs for years. She needed them because of muscle weakness due to charcot Marie tooth. We took a look at Jan's AFOs in our lab. They were hinged with metal dorsiflexion assist joints. At first, the style of AFO seemed reasonable for someone with Jan's condition. She needed help clearing her toes when she walked. On the exam table, Jan presented with the cavus foot posture, lower leg weakness and plantar flexion contracture commonly seen in CMT, and her quadricep strength seemed to be preserved. We asked Jan to walk using her dorsiflexion assist AFOs. She appeared to have reasonably good swing phase mechanics, but in stance phase, her steps were tentative, and she looked down as she walked with a slight anterior lean and waddling gait. She also touched the wall constantly. Jan was fit with Becker Geo AFOs for evaluation. What is Geo? GEO is Becker's latest innovation, a patented clinical evaluation tool that lets you verify the impact of an orthotic design on sagittal plane kinematics before fabrication of the definitive orthosis. GEO also lets you preview the effect of an irreversible change to an AFO. The Becker GEO AFO is lightweight, fabricated in carbon composite, with a pre-tibial shell, flat foot plate, and spiral trim line for hind foot control. The tibial and supramalleolar pads are removable for adjustment and sanitizable between fittings. It comes in two adult sizes to fit most patients comfortably using their own shoes. And Becker Geo is powered by the triple action multifunction ankle joint. Triple Action gives Becker Geo hyper-adjustability with metered settings that can be documented and that facilitate the Becker Geo method of orthotic design. So Jan was fit with Becker Geo AFOs for evaluation. After fitting, we adjusted the Triple Action ankle joints to simulate the function of her dorsiflexion assist AFOs. Jan presented with a gait pattern similar to how she walked in her definitive orthoses, tentative step, anterior lean, touching the wall. The Becker Geo AFOs were then optimized for Jan using the systematic tuning procedure for triple action. The procedure has four steps, bench adjustment, static alignment, swing phase alignment, and stance phase adjustment. Each step in this procedure defines explicit gait events, identifies gait deviations, and associates triple action adjustments to reduce those deviations. During static alignment, 
Jan's shank alignment was reclined to improve her standing balance while increasing her effective dorsiflexion range of motion. The final ankle alignment setting on the triple action was four degrees plantar flexion. Next, early stance phase was tuned to mobilize ankle motion in first rocker and reduce knee flexion from initial contact to loading response. The final plantar flexion range of motion setting was eight degrees. Lastly, dorsiflexion range of motion was increased to permit ankle motion in second rocker. This also decreased the resistance to dorsiflexion, reducing Jan's knee hyperextension after mid stance. The final dorsiflexion range of motion setting was five degrees. Jan's optimized GOAFOs had greater range of motion in plantar flexion than in dorsiflexion, suggesting that Jan's primary stance phase gait deficit was after mid stance, not in early stance or swing. It also suggested that Jan may have some weakness in her quadriceps that was not detected in manual muscle testing on the exam table. Next, to determine which AFO functional type would best suit Jan, the triple action range of motion settings were entered into the Beko Geo AFO functional type selection chart. The range of motion settings form a rectangle on the chart, and within the rectangle are the AFO functional types that might be suitable for Jan. In this case, these types include the standard action non-articulated type, and the resisted articulation type with plantar flexion resist and dorsiflexion stop. The triple action multifunction AFO with plantar flexion resist and high active resistance to dorsiflexion was also a suitable option. Note that the dorsiflexion assist type AFO that Jan had been wearing was contraindicated by this evaluation. This was due to the quadriceps weakness detected during functional evaluation with the Becker Geo AFO. To finalize selection of the most suitable AFO type for Jan, consideration was given to the goal of AFO design by the Geo method, which is to minimize ankle restriction while providing the greatest overall functional benefit. AFO options within the rectangle are possible, but those toward the right lower corner are preferred. Because it's possible that Jan's condition could change, an adjustable ankle component is beneficial. The double action with anterior pin and the triple action, multifunction AFO types would then be possibilities. But durability is very important to keep up with Jan's high activity level. And active dorsiflexion resistance with a high stiffness spring is also important. So Jan was fit with triple action AFOs. When it comes to customary practice, orthotists typically fabricate AFOs based on their patient evaluation and clinical experience. As the AFO is being fabricated, the orthotist sometimes hopes that the design is within the range of adjustment to suit the patient's needs and deliver a positive clinical outcome. A good fitting means a minor change to a trim line, but on occasion, a not so good fitting means that the clinician may need to even change the functional type of the AFO, which could mean refabrication. Customary orthotic practice says that we evaluate, fabricate, and then validate our design. But isn't that backwards? Shouldn't we validate the fundamental approach to our design before we fabricate or make an irreversible adjustment to the AFO? Imagine the time and cost of just one redo. GEO helps you deliver a more predictable outcome that demonstrates the impact of an AFO design on patient function that the orthotist, the physical therapist, the prescribing physician, and the patient can see. GEO helps improve the quality of orthotic care by helping to validate the design before fabrication. Thanks for listening.